learning about trigonometric ratios for right triangles and um, eventually we'll be able to use the properties of co-functions but today we're specifically looking at these trigonometric ratios so uh, the easiest way to do this is to show you this diagram right so trigonometry is used to find missing sides and angles of right triangles and we do so by using trigonometric ratios right so everybody thinks ah trigonometry very hard this part is uh, pretty simple if you can follow one simple acronym that we're going to show you in a second. So the biggest idea here is that we always need to pick a reference angle. So what's a reference angle? Well, it's the angle that you're going to refer to, right? The one that we're specifically talking about. And if I could get a pen here, I would highlight um, this angle A, which is the one that we want down there. And for whatever reason, okay, here we go. All right. Angle A down there. And that's our reference angle. And you see here we refer to it sine of A, cosine of A, tangent of A. Okay, and that means that we are focused specifically on this angle A. If we were looking at B, then we'd be focused on that, and that would be our reference angle. And these things would be different, and we'll get to that in the future. But right now, all we're looking at is this angle A. This is our reference angle. So we need to look at a couple of things. The sides. Adjacent, right? That means next to. So adjacent means next to. So obviously this angle, right, A, is next to this side AC. So that would be my adjacent side. Then we've got opposite. BC is opposite my reference angle a, okay, and then finally the hypot the hypotenuse, sorry, the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So that line is never going to change, right? That side is never going to change. It's always going to be the hypotenuse. It'll always be the longest side. It will always be opposite the hypotenuse. So we've got these ratios set up, okay? And it says sine of A is going to be equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which would be BC over the hypotenuse AB there. So imagine we have values, you'd plug the values in for that, and that would give you whatever your angle is, your sine of angle A is. Okay, and then we're looking at adjacent over hypotenuse for cosine of A. Well, the adjacent, right, we know with our reference angle A is AC over the hypotenuse again. Hypotenuse is always that AB. Okay, now we're looking at tangent of A. Well, that's the opposite, back to BC. And then we've got it over adjacent, which is AC. All right. And there's a cool little saying that we use to remember this, and it's Sokotoa. And the reason we say Sokotoa is because, well, it's sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse just like we have up here cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse again just like we had there and tangent is opposite over adjacent and this is what we use to remember all of these ratios so sokotoa okay so let's just apply this okay because it's not more than that so it says in the diagram below We've got this triangle and it says, what represents the sine of u? So again, we've got sine of u. And up here, I'm going to write my Sokotoa so I can use it for all of these things. Right? So, ka toa. Okay? And it says the sine of u. So that's my reference angle there, right? Well, it wants to know sine. So sine, we know, is opposite over hypotenuse sine is opposite over hypotenuse well the hypotenuse is easy to f to find right it's just opposite the right angle so i know sine of u is equal to uh something my opposite over 17 well the opposite of u is 15 so it's just 15 over 17 okay and it's that easy. So that's the ratio there, okay? Now let's take a look at the ratio, the ratio which represents cosine of A in this one. Well, A is here. It wants cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, okay? 
cosine of a well I'm looking at a what's adjacent five that's next to it okay so I've got five over my hypotenuse is 13 so cosine of a is equal to 5 over 13 okay, and the accompanying diagram same idea here and we want tangent of C tangent we know is opposite over adjacent and we can do our opposite well we're looking at C that's gonna be 8 and our adjacent is 17 I'm sorry is 15 17 is our hypotenuse and tangent Oh, I'll just put it down here. Tangent of C is equal to 8 over 15. And that's pretty much it. All we're doing today is writing ratios. If you want to take a look at this acronym, so sine is the opposite over hypotenuse, right? The definition. Again, co, cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Toa, tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. For, night, for tonight, you're going to have some delta math work. Okay, so... That's pretty much it. Remember, Sokotoa. All right. Thanks for tuning in and liking.